Space isn't just all these pretty lights up in the sky. It's actually full of mysteries we haven't even begun to crack. There are visitors, and then there are intruders. It barged into our solar system at a speed that defies belief, on a trajectory so flat it looks engineered. We pointed the James Webb telescope at it, expecting to see a comet. What we saw instead has sent a shockwave through the astronomical community. Trajectory is aligned with the plane of the planets around the sun. Now we will get a good image of it when it comes close to Mars on October 3rd. We don't need to wait a lot. It's not just about its speed. It's about what it's made of. This object is a cosmic freak, an anomaly so profound that it forces us to ask a terrifying question. What else is lurking in the darkness between stars? the intruder that broke the rules. Our solar system is a busy place, a cosmic neighborhood filled with planets, asteroids, and comets we've known for centuries. But in the summer of 2025, something new arrived, something that didn't belong. It was first spotted by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile, a system designed to be our planet's early warning system for dangerous asteroids. And to put it mildly, the first readings were baffling. This object, later named 3i Atlas, was moving at a mind-bending 130,000 miles per hour. That's over 36 miles every single second. To give you some perspective, that's fast enough to travel from New York to Los Angeles in under two minutes. This wasn't the leisurely arc of a comet born in our own system. This was the trajectory of an outsider, a visitor from interstellar space. You see, Objects in our solar system are gravitationally tied to our sun. They follow predictable elliptical orbits. But this thing was on a hyperbolic trajectory, a fancy way of saying it was moving too fast to be caught. It was a cosmic cannonball, destined to shoot through our system and never return. This alone made it incredibly rare. It was only the third interstellar object we had ever confirmed. The first, was the bizarre, cigar-shaped Oumuamua, and the second was the more comet-like too, I Borisov. But what many overlooked in the initial excitement was that 3I Atlas was already breaking the rules. Comets are essentially dirty snowballs. They only start to turn on, releasing gas and dust to form their iconic coma and tail when they get close enough to the sun for its heat to sublimate their ices. This usually happens somewhere inside the orbit of Jupiter. But 3I Atlas was already glowing, already active, while it was still far out in the frozen depths of space. It was as if a light bulb was shining without being plugged in. This was the first clue, the first whisper that this visitor was something else entirely. It was bigger, faster, and stranger than its predecessors. Early estimates put its nucleus at around seven miles wide, making it the largest interstellar object we've ever seen. But the thing nobody tells you is that its size and speed weren't even the weirdest part. The real shock came when we pointed our greatest observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope, at it. What Webb saw wasn't just an anomaly. It was a ghost from a completely alien solar system. And it was about to reveal a secret that would challenge the very foundations of astronomy. The object was behaving in a way that our science said was impossible but it was only the beginning of the mystery, a stare into the unknown. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden eye towards 3I Atlas, scientists were expecting to confirm what they already suspected, that it was a comet, just one from very, very far away. They aimed Webb's near-infrared spectrograph at the fuzzy cloud of gas and dust surrounding the object, its coma, to read its chemical fingerprint. Every element and molecule glows at a specific wavelength of light, and Webb is the master at deciphering these cosmic barcodes. What they found sent a jolt through the scientific community. Comets in our solar system are rich in water ice. It's their defining feature. But 3I Atlas was different. The instrument detected water, yes, but it was being drowned out by an absolutely enormous amount of carbon dioxide. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water was one of the highest ever recorded in any comet from our solar system or otherwise. Many people are crazy about the idea of finding alien life, but sometimes the most alien discoveries are far more subtle and profound. This wasn't a little green man. This was a fundamental chemical difference that screamed of a different origin. 
in our solar system, there's a frost line or snow line, a distance from the sun beyond which it's cold enough for water to freeze into ice. Farther out, there's a CO2 ice line, where it's even colder, allowing carbon dioxide to freeze. The insane amount of CO2 in 3i Atlas suggests it may have been born in a solar system wildly different from ours. Perhaps it formed very close to its star's CO2 ice line, in a region packed with dry ice. Or, another, more tantalizing theory emerged. Maybe it came from a place with so much radiation that most of the water ice was blasted away, leaving the more resilient carbon dioxide behind. It was a clue, a single data point that opened up a universe of possibilities. What kind of star did this object orbit? Was it a massive, hot star pouring out deadly radiation? Or a small, cold one with vastly different chemistry? And the weirdness didn't stop there. As other telescopes watched, new photos taken during a lunar eclipse hinted that 3i Atlas might be turning a ghostly green. This can happen when the sun's heat bakes a chemical called dicarbon off the comet's surface. But seeing it happen on an interstellar object added another layer to the puzzle. It was big, it was fast. It woke up too early, and it was breathing the wrong kind of air. Every new piece of data made 3i Atlas less like a simple comet and more like a cosmic enigma. The object was no longer just a visitor. It was a puzzle box billions of years old. Theories from the fringe. Whenever an object in space defies easy explanation, the speculation begins. And with 3i Atlas, the theories ran wild, from the plausible to the outright extraordinary. You see, the scientific community is conservative by nature. They stick to the data. But the data for this object was so strange, it stretched the known models to their breaking point. The simplest explanation was that it was just a comet, but a very, very unusual one from a planetary system that formed under bizarre conditions. This exotic comet theory is the most likely, but it raises more questions than it answers. It implies that other solar systems can be fundamentally different from ours, churning out objects with a chemistry we've never imagined. It makes the universe a much more diverse and surprising place. But then there are the more fringe and far more exciting ideas. We can't talk about strange interstellar objects without mentioning Avi Loeb, the controversial Harvard physicist who famously suggested that our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, could have been an alien artifact. Remember, Oumuamua was a cosmic enigma, a dark, cigar-shaped object that sped up as it left our solar system for no apparent reason. Loeb's theory of a thin solar sailing craft was radical, but it was one of the few that fit the bizarre data. So when 3i Atlas arrived with its own list of impossible features, it was only natural that Loeb would weigh in. He pointed out that some early unverified images seemed to show a faint glow in front of the object, not trailing behind it like a normal comet tail. While this was likely just an observational artifact, a trick of the light, it was enough to fuel incredible speculation. Could the object be generating its own energy? Could it be? as Loeb controversially proposed for its predecessor, a spacecraft powered by a nuclear source, shedding dust and ice it accumulated on its long journey between the stars. While this remains an extreme outlier of a theory with no direct evidence, it taps into that deep-seated, powerful human desire to finally find out that we are not alone in the universe. What many overlooked is the compelling middle ground, a theory that is almost as stunning, but doesn't require alien engineers. Perhaps 3i Atlas isn't a natural comet or an alien ship, but something entirely new, a planetary shard. Picture this. In a chaotic young star system hundreds of light years away, a Jupiter-sized gas giant shifts its orbit, flinging a pristine Pluto-like exoplanet into a catastrophic collision. The impact is apocalyptic, shattering the ice world into trillions of pieces. Most fall into the star, but some are ejected into the void, sent tumbling through the interstellar darkness for millions of years. This theory is so compelling because it elegantly explains the strange chemistry without invoking aliens. A fragment of a frozen, distant world like that would be incredibly rich in the exact exotic ices, like the pure nitrogen and solid carbon dioxide that the Webb telescope detected. We wouldn't be looking at a comet, we'd be looking at a piece of a world we will never see. 
a time capsule carrying the secrets of its birth and its violent destruction. To find a piece of an exoplanet in our own backyard would be one of the greatest astronomical discoveries in history. It would be like a geologist in Europe finding a rock that could only have come from the heart of the Amazon rainforest, but on a cosmic scale. It paints a picture of a violent and dynamic galaxy, where the ghosts of broken worlds are constantly flying through the void, waiting to be found. The mystery deepened with every theory. A mirror to our ignorance. So, here we are. We are staring at the data from the most advanced telescope humanity has ever built, looking at an object that traveled for perhaps millions of years just to cross our path. And the unsettling truth is, we don't really know what it is. For every single answer the James Webb Space Telescope gave us about 3i Atlas, it created 10 new, more profound questions. We know its incredible speed, a velocity so high it could only have come from another star. We know its approximate size, a city-sized chunk of something, and we know it's wrapped in a mysterious glowing fog of carbon dioxide gas. But we don't know why. Here's the thing that has scientists so completely baffled. Carbon dioxide ice sublimates. It turns directly into a gas at incredibly cold temperatures. For an object to still be shedding a cloak of it after traveling through the deep freeze of interstellar space, it must have come from the absolute coldest, darkest outskirts of its home star system. Or, something else is going on. Something that isn't in our physics textbooks. 3i Atlas is a mirror, and when we look into it, all it reflects is our own ignorance. It's a cosmic reality check. It reminds us that for all our incredible technology and accumulated knowledge, the universe is still infinitely vast, profoundly mysterious, and operates on rules we are only just beginning to understand. This one object has single-handedly challenged decades of theories about what an interstellar visitor is supposed to look like. Many people are crazy about getting definitive, simple answers, but in the world of science, the most exciting and important moments are the ones that leave you completely stumped. This is one of those moments. People watching this, you might be wondering, does all this happen overnight? Do astronomers just point a telescope, find something new, and immediately understand it? The answer is a resounding no. What you're seeing is the messy, confusing, exhilarating process of science happening in real time. We are seeing the raw data, the heated debates in scientific journals, and the slow process of eliminating what's wrong to get closer to what is right. Are we missing a key detail in the data? Is there a piece of fundamental physics we haven't discovered yet that explains the bizarre behavior of 3i Atlas? Or is the explanation simpler and our human biases are preventing us from connecting the dots? This object isn't just a comet, it's a puzzle box, and right now we only have a few of the pieces. To put it mildly, 3i Atlas is a humbling experience. It flew through our solar system like a ghost, offering us a fleeting glimpse into a world that is not our own. We threw our absolute best technology at it, and it left us scratching our heads in collective wonder. It serves as a powerful reminder that we are just beginning our exploration of the cosmic ocean. It's like we live on a tiny isolated island and have only just invented a fishing net. We cast it into the endless ocean for the first time and pulled out this bizarre, glowing creature we have no name for. It tells us almost nothing about the true diversity of life in the ocean, but it proves one thing for certain. The ocean is full of wonders we can't even imagine. We were just lucky enough to catch this one. 3 I Atlas is now heading back into the void, leaving us with more questions than answers. What other cosmic secrets are hurtling through the darkness towards us? Is it possible that the galaxy is filled with objects far stranger than our science can currently comprehend? If you want to explore more cosmic mysteries, be sure to like this video and subscribe.